what's going on guys? Hey, I've gotten some requests for how do I tie my horse to a hitching post? I notice you use a hitching post all the time. So I'm here to show it to you. So this is my tack room. This is my hitching post. I'm going to bring my horse's head over the hitching post like so. Then I'm going to go through the U and the U is in the hitching post to keep that horse centered just like that. Now, very simple. This is called a clove hitch. And what do you do is this. You're going to take and make a U. Your outside hand is going over your inside hand, just like so. Outside hand under your inside hand, just like so. Just like that. And you're gonna pull it. No knot is a knot without a bite, so make sure you pull it tight. You can take your slack and set it there, do whatever you like. That's a clove hitch. The reason we wanna tie him to an H is because now the world is our oyster. We can do whatever we want from this point as opposed to cross tying or tying them on the wall where you're in jeopardy if the horse doesn't like something. If you're on a wall, they can pinch you, trap you, catch you. If they're cross ties, all kind of horrible accidents can happen. They can sit back, jump forward, run into you, pop the lines. I've seen all kind of crazy stuff happen. With the H, the H gives us a barrier between the horse and ourselves that we don't have to worry about them running into us, striking us, biting us. It gives us some protection here and allows us to work with ease and so much of horsemanship whenever the ball's in your court, it's gonna go right. So many problems that happen with horses could be completely avoided just by not giving the horse so much opportunity to avoid, to bump into us, to make us uncomfortable that gets them out of that work. So again, I want their head to be over. I want their head to be over the H on your side here, their body on that side. We're gonna come through the U there that's specially designed just for that. And we're gonna make two half hitches, make a U, Outside hand goes under the inside hand. Make the exact same thing twice and pull it tight. Horse is not going anywhere. Between this rope halter and this lead rope, you can bring an elephant. It's not gonna pop the rope, okay? Our halters and our leads, they come with a lifetime guarantee. If you have a horse pop either of those things, call me, it has my number on it. I would like to hear the story and then I'll send you a new one for free. A lot of the, the big things that happen when horses get a sit back issue is we're just putting inferior products on them and they're popping the clips, they're popping the leads, they're popping the halters. So then they think whenever they're uncomfortable, they can just move away from it. And we don't want them getting that idea. So if you do this right here, safer for you, safer for your horse. That's how we like to do it here at Gascon Horsemanship. If you're interested in an H like this, you feel like you need one at your facility for vet work, farrier work, or just training in general, we're making those now with any &E fab and we'd be happy to get one for you. Thank you guys so much for watching.